Hello and welcome to pmplounge.com. Today we are going over the project management plan. To be more precise, we are only taking an overview of the project management plan. So what is it? Why is it important? When does this come into the picture? How is it different from the project charter? Let's try to find that out. So as always, why is this important? You may ask, but I may ask another question to you in return. And that is, why is this not important? The name itself says it is a project management plan. You as a project manager, you as a project management professional certified project manager. Can you guess how important project management plan would be how important something that sounds like project management plan how important that would be so of course it is important the point is this is actually developing the project management plan is actually one of the most important jobs of a project manager so now i hope you could make out how important project management plan is So developing a project management plan, it fits into the planning process group and the integration management knowledge area. So in the integration management knowledge area, the first thing in the initiating process group, that is where we develop a project charter. In the planning process group is where we are creating the project management plan. So the the basic understanding that you could get from here is that when you're at a stage preparing the project management plan you already have a project charter with you and that is actually the minimum that you can expect because these processes in the pgka mapping the process group knowledge area mapping these processes are are not you know sequentially arranged processes some processes could happen earlier, some processes could happen throughout, some processes could happen later. So it is not necessary that these processes are sequentially arranged. But when we come, when we talk about project management plan, it is quite clear that the project charter is already prepared before we deep dive into creating a project management plan. So what is it basically? It is a collection of all the information about the project. Now this could sound a bit tricky, right? How can all the information of the project be at a single place? How do you collect all of this? What exactly is a project management plan? And we'll go over it in 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 the uh, in later on in this video. So you'll you'll get a better idea of what we are talking about and what do we mean when we say that a project management plan is essentially a collection of the entire information about the project i think a, a correction here could be that all of the planning information of the project is available in the project management plan that would be more precise and i feel that would be more correct anyways moving on so the project management plan acts as a single point of reference for everything related to the project so since it's a plan everything that has to go through in the project everything that will happen throughout the course of the project you can expect that it is available in the project management plan so let's say you're working on a project and let's say a risk comes up your first point of checking what to do would be the project management plan because there would be a risk management plan which would define what you need to do when a risk comes up and it is also possible that there, that this risk was already planned for so there are already mitigation steps available in the risk management plan of what you need to do when a risk like that comes up let's say you're working on the project and a change comes up there's a change in the requirement you're already coding for it so what do you do well again you check the project management plan because there would be a change management plan within the project management plan which will define what you need to do as a project manager when a change shows up 
So that's why it is a single point of reference for everything related to the project because everything that has been planned for the project will be present in the project management plan. All right, let's move on. So why have a project management plan? So this is quite similar to how you need a plan when you are building a house. And this is one analogy that a lot of mentors that you will find, a lot of mentors that you will find in project management who would give you when you ask them, why should you have a project management plan? So, well, when you're constructing a house for yourself, you need a plan, right? You have everything on paper already before laying the the first stone for that house before starting the digging up work everything is absolutely ready you have the plan you have the interiors done interior planning done that is you have you've already thought about what color would go on the walls of your house what color would go on in 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 which room which room would have certain kind of wallpapers which room would have what kind of interior designing you know you have all of that figured out already you have the electricity the water supply everything figured out already before even laying the first stone for your project uh, for your house that is so this is quite similar to how you manage a project everything that you will be doing as part of the project right from initiation to closing the coding the testing the designing everything is planned as part of the project management plan so just like before building a house you have planned everything out already before even starting the work it's the same thing that applies to a project management plan which means before even starting the project before even starting the actual work on the project you have everything planned out clearly so that is the importance of the project management plan and that is why you must have a project management plan because let's say you want to construct a house would you start doing it from tomorrow without any planning without looking at the costs without looking at the kind of house you're building without uh, deciding upon the colors or the electricity or water fittings and all without even considering the kind of uh, you know the kind of resources that you would need so you need all of that to be planned right before you can start uh, your construction of the house and it's similar to the project as well it's similar when it comes to project because you need a plan before you can start a project so one of the key points to note here is that nothing is executed while you're developing a project management plan so no actual work is done when it comes to project management plan. Everything is only planned. It is a project management plan. It is not the project management execution or the project execution. No. So no actual work, no groundwork is done when it comes to developing a project management plan. Only the planning is done. So how does the project management plan actually look? Is it a software? Is it a website? Well, it is a single document. So there is one document which contains everything. And now you may be wondering how can one document contain every single damn thing that is going to happen on the project? I talked about risks. I talked about change. I mentioned resources. How can all of that be a part of the single document? Well, I have the answer for you because this is extremely exhaustive. This document is very, very exhaustive. And that is the reason why there are subsidiary plans which basically combine to form a project management plan. So in the beginning, I mentioned that project management plan is a collection, right? So it is a collection of these subsidiary plans. Subsidiary plans is what constitutes a project management plan so it is although a single document 
but it contains these subsidiary plans which in themselves could be single documents and this collection of the document is known as the project management plan now each knowledge area will typically have a subsidiary plan and all of these knowledge area subsidiary plans together form the project management plan so you know what the knowledge areas are you are you can quite now make out what all goes into forming up a project management plan all right so that is all that we had in this video hope you had a good overview and a good basic understanding of what a project management plan really is follow us on our social media facebook.com slash pmp lounge and twitter.com slash pmp lounge for the latest updates that we keep on posting on our social media and sharing on our social media these will be helpful in your pmp exam as well as being abreast with the project management industry like this video if you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already and check out the website pmplounge.com for the latest the best free project management related articles that will help you in your pmp exam as well as project management industry news so you can check out the website pmplounge.com for all of that thank you